conceptual entities, well, there are several ways to represent the domain, and, and there are ways to help you. So one way is a template. And a template could look like this. And this is, by the way, a template from a tool that, again, is available for you to use. But the tool requires a little bit of learning, so you might want not to use it, but still the templates make sense. So, for instance, this is about the task. You can see this, this tool, which is about group or task analysis. You could model tasks, objects, roles, agents, and events. It's just modeling all the entities in the top. Now, if there's task, maybe I, I want, you, you now find out already about my coffee addiction, so maybe I want to, to model this one. So I, I want to model a new task, and I label this task, order an espresso with sugar. Uh, there's a goal. I, the goal is to get a drink. And for me, this is a unit task. If I would order an espresso with sugar, I don't want to do anything else. Just give me an espresso, right? Uh, and, and, um, and, and this task is mainly mental. I'm not going to do things. I just say this and I label this as a mental task. And there's a comment to drink in the shop, I have a customer card. Right? Okay. So this is a way to have a template for describing tasks. Be because I could also have another name, I could have a constructor if the task is this and that and that or that. Um, it could be a, a, a complex task, could be a basic task, the relevance could be high or not high, uh, and, and so on. Another example, suppose I would like to, uh, to describe uh, the next task, I have ordered an espresso now, I should pay. So the next task is to pay, finish business of buying a drink, this is the goal. I, I got my coffee, but now I should finish this one. Paying is a motor task, I have to take my purse and, and find my card or whatever. Um, and I would prefer to pay with credit card, but only cash payment is allowed. So this is a comment, which, which means for me, design, you might consider the comment. You say, okay, in future we will allow you to pay that. Okay, right? So another example, this is another one. Uh, this time it's about, uh, uh, well, paying means I hand out money, but, but then I should receive money back. You see, I'm now structuring complex tasks into detailed tasks. Getting coffee is not that easy, as you can see. Right? So I, I hand out money and then I should receive money back. But the goal is to pay not more than I should pay. Um, and, and it's a unit task and I have nothing more to say about that. You see, so the template helps me to structure things and at the same time you see how I'm building a task structure. Um, and maybe I, I would still expand. Sorry, I, I, I was too quick. So I could actually say, let me, can this one? No, I can't. So uh, maybe I, I hit more, and if I hit more, I, I can, the start condition is the money is given is more than to pay. The stop condition is I have received the extra money. It should take about 10 minutes. Um, and the frequency is, well, sometimes if I don't have the, the right type of cash, then I would use this one. So now I'm describing even more details of the task, right? And, and such a template will help you. And, and if you would use the tool for this, then it would certainly help. You have to find out. Um, uh, and this is another thing. This is a customer card. I have a customer card of this coffee shop. Um, and and, and the, the customer card collects stamps that could have a value from 1 to 10. And it's handed out with stamps for first order and can be exchanged for a nice cookie when I have collected 10 stamps. Right? So is, can you read it or is it too, uh, too small? Mm -hmm. no. Or well, you are trying to read my French, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you should move the mouse. Sorry? You should move the mouse out of the sky window. Oh, well, so I cannot. The mouse is not there for some reason. Okay, well, wait a moment. Yeah, I think that's... I see what's happening. Funny. Cool. Let me see what I was doing. I think I... Okay, so... This is the customer card to deal that with the one. Um, okay, so this is about roles. Now I, I'm showing you a template for roles. It could be a shop employee and, and, and he could have different types of tasks. He could have money, he could order the espresso with sugar and, and stuff like that. So these are different activities that this, this role could be concerned about. Um, okay, well. Another one, forget about it. Um, but this is all in Uter, so you have you have a, a task template where you could describe the task. 
including start and stop condition, initial state and final state, duration and frequency. You could even add a picture or, or, uh, or a video or whatever you want. Um, and this is an event template, so event could be email has arrived, when email arrived, this should trigger start to doing email, and the email program pops up a window saying that email has arrived when the question, with the question if I want to read it now or not, right? So, so this is an event template in order to describe events, and, and there are more templates, but I leave it at that. So 